This time on the Iron Empire, playing with an XC GXL. Alright, this is the Beast XC Factory 351 GXL Fairmont. And basically, this is my uncle's car, and he hasn't done anything with it. So I've pushed him to get it done. So we're going to drag it to my place, spend a couple of days on it, and hopefully get it to a condition where it can be driven easily. And uh, yeah, let's get stuck into it. Alright, so back to my block with the XC, and as usual, I have chronic hay fever. Uh, the plan with this car today, as you can see, it's a pretty tidy car anyway. It obviously presents a little bit nicer on the film, but uh, it's had an old restoration or an older respray, we'll say. And it's probably a 6 out of 10. Uh, so we just what we're going to do is basically get the paint as good as we can with the polish that's going to be outsourced but for today the plan is just to clean it up the best we can put a few trims back on the car and redo the blackouts because they are chipped and too glossy and they're wrong anyway some of them are incorrect uh, we have to change the bars to chrome because they look junk Basically, we're getting what we can done in two days. So get it as neat as possible, tidy up the engine bay a little bit as well. And uh, then at least it's a nice, neat cruiser for when we want to cruise it. So um, it actually drove really good. It does need a bit of a tweak, so I'll get that tuned later down the track. And uh, But for now, we're just going to stuck into it and see how much we can get done in a couple of days. Okay, so the GXL had a combination of stainless sections and blacked out sections more than a Fairmont. Uh, this section here is the boot garnish and I believe that it's meant to be stainless, but someone's painted it black. I've just hit it with a bit of gun wash and it's come up clean as a whistle. So I'm just gonna quickly rub down all the sections that are meant to be chrome, get off all the black, and then this car is gonna look way better. All right, so you can see that we've done the blackouts at the back of this boot. Uh, the stainless trims are now stainless again. This one here needs a bit of an alignment. I also repainted out all the blackouts around the tail light here. And now onto these exhaust tips. Believe it or not, they're actually chrome. Check back in one hour. Okay, back on the XC now. Uh, Mark's not here today, but the plan uh, for this afternoon, I've only got a couple of hours, is I want to get these uh, door frames in black. We've, as you can see, we've got satin black on all the rest of the uh, blackout sections here, which have made a huge difference to the overall appearance of the car. 
Uh, these trims were black as well and they're meant to be stainless so we cleaned them all off. And luckily cars like these were actually stainless so you can clean them up, polish them. Um, when they're chromed it's a whole other ball game. Uh, obviously the back end as you'll see is blacked out now, chrome bumper, black overriders, um, it's all pretty correct to what it should have been from the factory. Uh, we're going to do a set of wheels on this, but for now the splats are staying on there because I don't have time to deal with that. And hopefully tonight, before I take it out to get polished, the front bar is going to be swapped over. As you can see, it's got a few little leaks here we have to solve, but um, yeah, front bar has got to go chrome because that blue bar sucks. bar is far from perfect but uh, with a polish up and freshly painted overriders it damps like better than crusty painted bars anyway. So aside from one door trim on the car, which I'll pop on now, the XC is pretty much ready to go. Oh, actually, I haven't done the door handles. I've got to paint the door handles as well. But I can do that after the car is polished. This is going to a fellow named Bones. He uh, works out of the Barossa Valley. Um, he is really, really good at his uh, paint restoration. So I'm going to come in outside of the wind. Um, Bones specialises in... Uh, polishing uh, classic cars with original paint. Um, he does obviously everyday stuff like two-pack stuff as well. And also he does uh, patina waxing as well to preserve cars like the Valiant here. So this thing really is kind of due for paint, but it's not gonna get that. For now, it is getting uh, a nice detail and he will get this thing looking as good as it possibly can. So I'm really looking forward to that. He'll get that done in a few days. Um, and then onto wheels and tires, but you'll see that all on an upcoming episode though. So I'm gonna jump in this thing now, uh, shoot down the road, it's only 10 minutes away, and uh, get him to work his magic. Town, uh, about to pull up to get this thing sorted, so that'll be it for this episode of the Iron Empire. Um, definitely come back and check out the progress that's made on the XC and come back for the next episode because who knows what car it's gonna be. All right, cheers, guys. One last thing before I go, I want to say a huge thank you to all of my supporters who've jumped online. Um, picked up a gift pack, stickers, stubby holders, um, new t-shirts. I've had an absolutely overwhelming response with all the new merch uh, coming up to Christmas and I've got them all out. So I'm hoping that everyone receives everything that they've ordered uh, before Christmas, obviously. And um, yeah, I'm going to have uh, lots of 
bigger and better merch coming up next year. I really, obviously, you guys love all the merch I've been putting out so far. Um, so I'm going to try and up my game even yet again next year. So if I don't see you all before the new year, um, have a good break, and I will see you all for very soon for an upcoming episode of the Iron Empire. Cheers, guys.